To help us further explain Alita's condition, please welcome knee-high nee expert, professor of pediatrics at the University of Colorado and Children's Hospital of Colorado, pediatric pulmonologist, Dr. Robin Dieterding. Hi, Robin. Hello, everybody. Hi, Rob. Hi, Dr. Dieterding. Hello. So, you specialize in kids' lung problems, and you actually specialize in Alita's condition, knee-high. Uh, how rare is this? Well, it's a rare disease, and I would say right now we know about probably maybe 300 to 400 kids worldwide who might carry this problem. Most of the time, these children present under a year of age, like Alita. They breathe very fast. Uh, they don't call for wheeze like asthma, and many of them need oxygen, and they just never seem to get better, unlike asthma or if you had an infection. These kids just continue to have problems. Is there any hope that Alita's going to outgrow this in the future? Well, we sure hope so. What we know is that over time, they can slowly improve, but it takes a long time. The average is about six years to get off oxygen, at least at night, or uh, to be able to gain weight better. Uh, so that's good news, that she can get off oxygen. We've had no child die from this disease. That's also good news. These children, uh, we expect to live healthy, long lives, but they, um, they have a lot of problems early, uh, and, that, and that improves, but they may still have subtle problems later. So is the idea that their kids are on the oxygen while their lungs are developing, and then once they kind of grow into uh, uh, older teenagers, then they're maybe off the oxygen. Is there an actual cure for this condition? Well, we don't understand as much as we'd like about this condition. We don't know if these neuroendocrine cells are part of the problem or if they just tell us the disease is there. So we're very committed to finding a better treatment and a cure, but we don't have it yet. Dr. Dieterning, thank you so much for joining us today and for all the work you're doing with these kids with knee high. Well, thank yes. you. A lot of that, you started a foundation to kind of help research into this? We didn't start the foundation, but there is a foundation. It's the Child Foundation, and CHILD is little c, little h, and capital ILD, which stands for Children's Interstitial Lung Disease. Right. Um, the website is uh, www.child-foundation.com, um, and it's a, what it is is it's set up for families that have kids who have these conditions to get uh, information about you know, treatment, how to do the action at home. There's a list of doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, to the best of our knowledge, there's only like 18 doctors in the U.S. that actually specialize in this kind of condition. And knee high is only one of about 30 interstitial lung diseases, and the foundation is there to set up uh, for all families. And I know, Debbie and Aaron, traveling is not always that easy, and <laughs> we know flying can be a nightmare. There's strict TSA regulations yeah. when it comes to oxygen. So on behalf of O2 Concepts, we're actually going to send you home with an OxLife Independence Continuous Flow Portable Oxygen Concentrator. Oh and I know this is something you guys have been wanting. And uh, it's FAA oh Airline approved. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Give them a hug. Oh. <laughs> and thank you so much. And we just want to thank all four of you so very much for coming on the show. And Lita, thank you for sharing Mr. Gibbs with us yeah. today. Thanks for all that you do, Mr. Gibbs. And if you want more information on how to donate to Mihai Research, go to thedoctorstv.com.